Do you want to say good morning, vlog? You don't need that. Hi. Okay, you got it. Okay, so I think we're gonna old school vlog today. I'll still show you what I'm eating, but we've gotten early. We have to go run some errands with my dad. We're vlogging. I'm really hungry. Dad fed Avery. Thank you, Dad. He's gonna go, that's the wrong way. He's gonna go brush his teeth and then we're gonna head out. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna make my, um, make my breakfast. Would you like some coffee? No coffee! coffee it's my dad's coffee they usually have this like green mountain breakfast but I'm gonna have to get some more at the store today but I use my dad's she loves grand dude um, I'm using my dad's what's it called no surrender he's gonna look it up thank you dad rev no surrender bless you yes you she thinks it's so funny when she sneezes to the good there we go. Rev, no surrender. So I know it's going to be probably super strong. Let's give it a taste. I could probably use that today, honestly. Wow. Yeah, my creamy chocolate shake is having a hard time overcoming that coffee flavor. But it's still good. So Okay, say see you in a minute. See you in a minute. She's into everything. Busy, 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 busy. And she can sit up by herself. As she falls over, but she just caught herself. Um, but she likes to lay forward, so I'm like, is that normal? It's normal. <gasps> Avery Madeline. <laughs> right now, I have a naked baby. She's got a slight fever, just from her shots from yesterday. So I gotta get her dressed. But I was letting her cool down a little bit because she was super warm. Her cheeks are all red. I gave her some Tylenol. Um, my dad was like, you need to make sure that, because my dad's a nurse. He's like, it's okay. Anyway, my dad was like, make sure that you alternate Tylenol and Motrin to make sure that her fever doesn't spike. Like, it's just funny. Um, he is like so in love with her. It's, it's really cute. And she like loves her grand dude. He can just say hello to her and she like grins and like gets all excited to see him, so. Which is good. What are you gonna wear today, sis? <gasps> oh, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna get her clothes. It's still pretty hot in Texas. The highs are like still on the 80s and 90s and, but it's muggy and it's supposed to be cool. So it's like, what the heck do I put on this kid? It doesn't make it look like it's summertime. So I think what I'm gonna put on her is this little top. It's a little short sleeve top, but it's like fall looking. And then her little jeggings. So the good news is, is that she usually sleeps, like I don't like to put her in a whole lot when she sleeps because she sleeps in that big sleep suit. So I'll probably just take her pants off and she can sleep in her little shirt. You probably shouldn't be chewing on that, but because it's making you happy, it's fine with me. She, I don't know if I talked about it, she's got two bottom teeth already. She's had those for a while, but she did pop her left top tooth. And the doctor said yesterday that he thinks that she's popping her right top tooth soon too. So that's probably why she's kind of fussy. That mixed with the fact that she had shots and she doesn't feel very good. So 
I'm probably gonna get her dressed and then give her a little bit of a snack. She can eat all kinds of stuff now, which is really cool. I may give her like a banana. Um, we'll kind of see what we've got in the house. I've got puffs and things for her. Give her a little bit of a snack and then she's on. It. She's honestly probably gonna be ready for a nap. I just. She's definitely ready for a nap, but I wanna show you. She sucks her thumb. She sucks her left thumb. Always her left thumb. She grabs things with her left hand. You're gonna suck your thumb? You go, take your thumb. Of course, now she's, there you go. And then she'll put herself, I'm gonna turn that down. Then she'll put herself to sleep that way. Okay, you gonna take a good nap? <gasps> night, night. <laughs> Oh, okay, now that she's asleep, I gotta put this viewfinder down or I'm gonna continue to look at it. Now that she's asleep, I have two videos that I wanna work on. One of them is an unboxing and that should go up this evening. Um, and then the other one is the vlog from yesterday or the what I eat in a day from yesterday. Um, so by the time you see this, both of those will be out. And actually I got my first Stitch Fix box yesterday. It is cold back here, but it's okay because Little Miss sleeps in the cold. She's just like her daddy. Always, always, always hot. So anyway, um, I did my first Stitch Fix order and it was, you have to go watch. Um, I just did like a review on it. I really liked it, I will say that. But I want y'all to be able to see the really cute pieces that they picked out for me. So, <sighs> maybe I should take a nap. <laughs> okay, I've got her dress. She looks so stinking cute as always. She looks cute in just a diaper. But I gotta put her shoe back on. She pulled it off. Um, whoa, sis, where are you going? She is busy, busy, busy all the time. She wants to be going, going, going all the time. Hey, I'm sure she's gonna keep us on our toes. Gotta put your shoe on. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, no. Hey, sis. This is what I'm talking about. She's like fighting this. Hey, sis. You gotta put your shoes on. DJ bought you these pretty shoes. You have to wear them. DJ is my mom's. Whoop, he came with me. DJ is my mom's. There we go. Nope. Oh my gosh, you can't see this, but she's eating her shoe. No, eating shoes. <laughs> ah, she loves to watch these shoes because they're sparkly. Okay, I need to change my clothes before we go because she spit up all of me. Ah, ah, ah. No, no, we don't need our shoes. As DG says, sparkles are not good for the digestive system. Um, and she has like blue passies because the passies that she likes didn't have any pink ones. So uh, I need to finish writing this grocery list. My mom started it, but I need to finish some stuff because I'm cooking dinner the next couple days. And I love to cook dinner here because number one, it helps me to stay on track, but also my mom hates to cook. She doesn't, well, she doesn't hate to cook. She doesn't really like to cook and it doesn't bother me as much. So for meals, we're gonna have, this is difficult to do with you, sis. Um, stir fry, no, no. We're having Mexican casserole. And we're having taco salad. So I'm making the Mexican casserole for Sunday when my dad is here, because I think he'll really like that. I'm gonna do stir fry tomorrow night when my sister is here because she really loves Chinese food. So we'll do them for Saturday. And tonight, mom and I are gonna do taco salad, which is good, because it'll be easy. Ugh, this is gonna take me a while, so I'm gonna write this, but I'll show you a grocery haul when I come back. I just like to watch other people's grocery hauls. I especially love to watch, in here, do you want this? I especially love to watch, um, okay, that was a dumb idea. So I love to watch like large family grocery hauls or like there's somebody on YouTube, her name is The Wads. Her name is Kim, but their last name is Wadsworth. And so their YouTube channel is called The Wads. And she does a whole bunch of videos that's like Costco grocery haul, which I don't have a Costco membership. That's kind of my, if I hit my goal, that's what I'm getting as my goal present or my like my reward is I'm gonna get a Costco membership. <laughs> How weird is that? And I'm gonna like redo my entire, um, pantry and refrigerator so that it's more organized. Anyway, that's a whole different story. She'll do these huge Costco grocery hauls and then she'll do meal prep too, which I think is so cool where she'll 
or just like food prep where she'll wash her vegetables and tell you like what she's making for the week. And I just think that's so cool. Plus she has like four kids, which is what I want. This is my dilemma lately. Let me put her, let's feed her while I'm talking to y'all. Um, hold on. I was trying to find something that was kind of like transparent and not orange, but all I have is bananas and she's already had a lot of constipating things. Sorry, mom life. I don't want to give her bananas and make her tummy hurt. So I'm going to give her some peaches. No, no, into everything. She just grabbed my sister's glasses. Let's see, what is she going after now? A piece of paper. Like, you're into everything. Now she wants to grab the camera. There's a little finger. And there's, now we're gonna get our shoes. Do you want some of this? Let me get a spoon. Okay, it's focusing again. Oh, it was not focusing for a second. Poor little baby, she has sick eyes. Anyway, so here as I'm feeding her, I can talk to y'all about this. Um, here is our dilemma. Peaches smell. Mm, that's not the dilemma. Here you go. Um, when Avery was born and before Avery was born, we decided we were going to wait three years in between each child. Everybody kept telling us, you're never going to make it three years. You're never going to make it three years. You're never going to make it three years. But we were convinced we were going to make it three years. I'm going to try and show you her because she's cuter than me. Um, anyway. So, and then after Avery was born and we're in the middle of newborn stage, we're not sleeping. Like we're like, heck yeah, we are definitely waiting three years. There's no way we're gonna have another one before three years. And then she started sleeping through the night and she's just so stinking cute and she no longer wants to be cuddled. She's like getting to be mobile, kind of ish. Anyway, and I was like, oh my gosh, Robbie, I want another one. And Robbie even said like, yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it three years. I don't know if we're gonna wait three years. Like maybe we should wait a little bit, you know, not as long. And now I'm in the phase where I'm like, I just want another one right now. Like I just wanna have another one. I wanna get pregnant and have another one. I want them really, really close. I don't know. So we had made another plan to start trying when she was a year old. You really love that camera. I know, I do. We had made another plan that we were gonna start trying when she was a year old. And now we're thinking we don't know. Maybe we're thinking sooner, which I feel crazy saying that, but I know there are people all the time that have like two under two. So if you have two under two, I need your advice. Would you do it again? Would, what would you advise? I've been praying. I've been like, God, I really need a sign. Like, is what is, I need a sign that says yes or no, because, ooh, that was a good catch, Mal because I'm a, I just, I can't make this decision and neither can Robbie. And Robbie keeps saying, it's your body, sweetie, you make the decision. And I'm like, no, but this is our family. So all that to say, give me all the advice. <gasps> you are too cute with your little shoes. You wanna get down and get in your car? In your, <gasps> you wanna go walk around? Oh no, I'm realizing that I think when Avery accidentally dropped the camera on the ground that it broke the viewfinder a little bit, which is what happened to the other camera. So anyway, I just dropped her off at my grandparents' house, hoping that she is good for them. Not that she's never good. She's a baby. How can a baby misbehave? But she's just kind of fussy and I don't want her to be super fussy with them. I want her to be comfortable. I want them to not have a fussy baby to take care of. So I'm going to run to the grocery store. The grocery store is right behind us. Like it's not even a mile away. Um, so I'm going to go to the grocery store and then come pick her back up and head home before my mama gets home. Oh, I was going to take y'all in with me and I don't think I have my purse with me because I, why am I wearing this? <laughs> I was going to take y'all in with me, but I can't take you in with me if I don't have a bag to put you in because they will, everybody will look at me like I'm flipping crazy. So I'm not going to take you with me. Sorry, but I'll definitely show you all the groceries that we get. It's nothing super, super special, but I always like, like I said, to see what people get at their grocery store. So we'll see you probably next at home so that I can do this grocery haul. Okay, we're home. Oh, it is so hot. It is 91 degrees. Come on, Texas. Where's the fall? And to be very honest with you, we actually don't get fall much. We usually go straight to winter. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a... There we go different grocery haul because I cannot put the baby down right now. 
Um, so I'm just gonna show you things as I put them away and I'm sure you're all gonna be okay with that. I would hope a lot of you I'm sure are moms so you totally get it. Okay, I need to vlog. I feel like I only vlog on days where Avery is like super upset. Either she's teething or she just had a bunch of shots or both. They think that she's getting in her fourth tooth and she just had shots yesterday. So I gave her some medicine because she does have a little bit of a fever, but she's going to be okay. She's chewing on a straw, which is fine. The first thing I have is just the first thing that I grabbed is Meow Mix cat food. My mom, I was telling her this morning, mom, you're a crazy cat lady because she was like, okay, I need you to get cat food. They do not like pate and they don't really like chicken. So if you could find the seafood and maybe the shreds, if not get this kind or this kind or this kind, like she, sorry, mom is a crazy cat lady. The next thing that my mom needed was some bread. So I just have some white bread here. I've always eaten white bread. Um, when I was younger, we grew up on white bread. So that's actually kind of a cool thing because Avery can start eating peanut butter now. She just threw that. Anyway, okay, so we can put peanut butter on toast. I gotta get this stuff in the refrigerator quickly because we went over to my granny's house. I went over to go pick up Avery and then I started talking and anyway, if you know me, you know that I like to talk. So I have two things of like, oh, romaine lettuce. We're having salad tonight and there's gonna be like three of us so I know that one bag won't be enough. Okay, we also have tomatoes for my mom, cabbage for the stir fry tomorrow, and an avocado for Abe to try. Let me put those away. Next bag. Can you sit by yourself for a second? Oh my gosh, she's like ripping these to shreds, but it makes her happy, so I don't care. Okay, there we go. So next bag is this stuff. I've got some ground beef for tonight, so we'll just put that in the refrigerator since we're using that tonight. Actually, I think we're using that tomorrow, so I'll put that in the, uh, still in the refrigerator. I've got some Greek yogurt, which goes for a recipe that I'm making to Sunday. Um, I've got, ooh, these are fun. So I have some guacamole for dinner tonight. We're having taco salad. And then Avery, if, uh, if you haven't watched my videos before, if I haven't mentioned it, Avery is dairy free. She's allergic to dairy. So we have like soy formula and we don't give her any kind of like cheese, things like that. She's not old enough to really like non-cheese just yet. I don't know, maybe she is, but. So I got her soy, almond milk, vanilla, dairy free yogurt to try. Cause that's one of the things that the doctor said for her to try doing was like some yogurt. It's a good way he said to kind of transition from puree to solid food is like yogurt so and he also said you can mix like peanut butter into it girlfriend you can mix like peanut butter into it and then <laughs> ah! and um that's a good way to introduce peanut butter too can i have that thank you okay next thing is my mom needed some makeup wipes for the one time in my life, I actually did remember to get my own makeup wipes. I always forget to bring them whenever I come down here. And my mom's always, she's like dancing with me. My mom's always like, that's what the one thing you always forget. You always have to borrow mine. But I remembered them this time and she needed more. So I got that for her. No, 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 no. She wanted some big sexy hair, volumizing gel. I think this is the right stuff. I have no idea. She was trying to explain it to me this morning. And then she was at work, so I couldn't call and be like, what exactly do you want? So that's all your baby stuff, Ave. Um, jelly, mom wanted some jelly. Uh, Refried beans for tonight's dinner, or no, for Sunday night's dinner, and then also red enchilada sauce for Sunday night's dinner. Sure, non the grape jelly, Ave. I'm cool with it. And then, you know, I think I've talked about this, but I always thought I was gonna be one of those really uptight moms that was like, no, don't get anything dirty. My kid is currently in a diaper with socks on, sitting on the counter, playing with a grape jelly. But she's happy, so I don't care. Okay, no, we better not play with that though. That's Aunt Mamie's. Here, play with your jelly. My mom wanted some Werther's Original Sugar-Free Variety Pack. <laughs> Let me just show you this kid. Oh, she stopped. She was like gnawing on the cap. You can't get it open that way, although you do have some nice chompers. Let me put this stuff away. Um, so in a previous video, somebody was kind of, it seemed like mom shaming me, which I didn't realize if it was a thing until I was a mom. Um, 
They were mom shaming me for giving my daughter apple juice. Now, I could see why that would be confusing, why I would give my daughter apple juice. However, please know that there's no need to be concerned. This is from her doctor that she is supposed to have any kind of like 100% apple juice or 100% prune juice. She is lactose intolerant, but also has fussy tummy, as he called it. And so she gets constipated pretty easily. And so when that happens, this is what we use. She does not have it every single day. She has it on days that she needs it. Today is one of those days, so she will probably have some. Are those some nice toes? Do you like to eat your toes? Okay. We needed more formula at my mom's house. My mom always keeps like diapers and formula here and bottles and a swing and a walker and books. So, and Robbie's parents do the same thing. They keep everything in stock. So it's really nice to not have to travel with everything. And then I got her some new baby foods. Um, I try to get things that have apple or peach, no, apple or pear or prune in it because it helps bring moisture to the gut, therefore helping us stay regular, as her doctor said. So I try and get her things that have apple in them. Um, at first, apple, she would like turn her nose up. She would make faces at apple, but she's getting better about it. So I got her, this one is apple and avocado. Oh no. And this one is apple strawberry rhubarb. So we'll see if she likes those. <gasps> Say, that concludes our grocery haul. Stop, 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 stop. You can't see it, but she's stopping. Hold on. Ready, Ace? Here we go, here we go. And stop, 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 stop. Good job. Okay, we're gonna go in. Do something fun. Probably actually have some juice because she needs it. And I'm gonna have a feeling. I'm gonna have, thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna have a um, decadent chocolate brownie and then I have one more fueling for the night which will probably be a brownie. So just letting you know that's what I'm having next and I need to be drinking more water. Gotta go. I just realized that I never ended the vlog for today. I just finished having my brownie and I was just about to take a shower and I was like, oh wait, I was vlogging today. So I'm gonna go take a shower and I was thinking about making this vlog into a two-day vlog where I also show you tomorrow, but I think that there's a lot of footage, basically, of just me talking today, so I think I'm just going to split it into two, but I do miss vlogging, so I think I'll vlog tomorrow as well. We're going to go run some errands and do some shopping. We also just got like a really nice cold front, and this cold front was not on the weather schedule whenever I packed, so Little Miss and I are going to freeze our butts off if I don't find us some things to wear, so I may go out tomorrow and get some stuff for us to wear but also we have to shop for her baptismal outfit so I'll put all that in a new vlog but until tomorrow I love you all and God bless ya